Welcome back, guys. I'm back with another video for y'all. This is a collective read, so this is for all signs. So take what resonates and leave the rest. For everyone who has booked a personal reading with me, guys, thank y'all so much. And thank you guys for ordering it from the website. Everything has been shipped out, guys. I ship really fast. Um, I also do get the readings out pretty fast within 24 hours, guys. If you're interested, all that information is in the comment section below. So let's look into it. The first part we got is awakening. What's going on? What does the collective need to know? Oh, now this one. Conclusion. So somebody is realizing that a chapter is closed. Okay, so somebody has come to the realization that a chapter is over. Now you can refocus, okay? Yeah, somebody needs to purge. Oh, it's dealing with the karmic. Somebody feels like they need to purge from this karmic partner to find balance. They was not paying attention to the signs before, but it's like spirit is communicating and talking and giving them signs that they need to take a new direction. Okay, the past, this is a masculine, okay? This masculine here, you see he has his back turned. He is having an awakening. He's going through some type of awakening. That he needs to close a chapter. Conclusion jumped out, but being that it came out on the floor, I don't like to put read cards that come out on the floor. So I put it back in the deck, but it was conclusion. So this man is realizing that he needs to close a chapter so he can get back focused. Okay. I feel like this masculine is deciding that he needs to purge from a karmic. Okay. So this masculine seems like he's trying to find a way. Um, from dealing with this karmic so he can have some type of balance he's trying to balance his life out i really don't feel like he was paying attention to the signs before spirit has been trying to communicate with him giving him all types of signs and synchronicities um but his spirit was actually able to get this masculine by himself maybe in his dreams or when he's just thinking to himself and communicate with him about his new direction that he needs to take okay so this person, I feel like has not been in communication. You have not been in communication with this person because we got mute, mute and nostalgia. You haven't been in communication with this person in a while. They've been mute. They've been quiet. And that's because they're dealing with a karmic. Oh, goodness gracious. Bound in pride and ego. This person loves to play victim. They love to play victim, but this person's ego is shitty. This person's ego, y'all, when I tell y'all, this person is, they're trifling. I'm just going to put it out there. They let their pride and ego get the best of them, and then they like to play the victim. So on top of that, not only do are they got a big ego and they're real prideful, they do stuff and get real narcissistic energy, they play the victim. Okay, they are spying on you. They've been watching you and they've been in grief. They've been in grief ever since this connection ended. Okay. Yep. Separation. And this person is coming back around um, for forgiveness for tearing this connection apart. They know they caused this tower. They caused this tower and they know they did. They caused it. They did it on purpose. And they cause y'all to, to split and separate, go through a separation. This person is very aware that they caused this. But I do feel like this person has realized that you've reinvented yourself. You have handled this situation far more better than they ever thought that you would. They admire that about you. You've reinvented yourself after this separation. You turned your pain into power and you made something out of this okay you made something out of it and this person is like sitting back like wow i thought that you know she would have been torn to pieces 
Yeah, they put this connection on pause so they can deal with the karmic. They put this connection on pause so they can go deal with the karmic. But they just got some download. We got received and ascending. Third party. They may have just got some news from a third party about something. But I feel like that is getting ready to be torn down. Okay, it's getting ready to be destroyed. That situation is getting ready to be torn down. Here they go. I told you, they put Divine Feminine on pause. They put Divine Feminine on pause to go deal with a karmic. So tell me more. How do they feel? You were vibrating too high for them. We got vibrations. You vibrated too high for them. Your energy was just way too good. You're like, you was just way too good for them. So they put it on pause to deal with third party, didn't I say? To deal with a third party. And now they're at a crossroad. They don't know what to do. They're, they don't know how to get back to Divine Feminine. They know that they settled for the situation that they're currently in. They think about you, but they aren't communicating. I'm here and I see the signs everywhere, but I don't know what to do. Mm. So this person is at a crossroad currently and not sure which direction to take. Let me see what they want to say. I knew exactly what I was doing. Didn't I, didn't I say that? I think I said that, that this person destroyed this connection on purpose. They knew exactly what they was doing. I hope that you can forgive me one day. I want you. I don't think this person can stop thinking about you. Um, and I feel like this person, they are at a crossroad because they made some type of decision to put you on hold to deal with the karmic, but I don't think that connection is going in their favor at all. I don't think the connection is going how they thought it was going. So let's let's go a little deeper. Oh, now this jumped out. This this masculine is upset. Is in his feelings. He's bored. He could be depressed, but he's feeling some type of way. He's not satisfied. He does not want to go. I'm here and don't want to go back and forth. Okay, don't want to do the back and forth because for whatever reason. He feels like he's going to get in trouble if he goes back and forth. So he's trying to wait something out and just try something new. Okay, so he tried something new with the karmic because he didn't want to go back and forth. He didn't want to do the back and forth. Page of Pentacles. They ain't had nothing but a page. He wasn't offering nothing but a page anyway. So it's fine. Let him get that to that karmic because he ain't have nothing but a page. That ain't nothing. Them crumbs. Somebody could have forced him to make this decision. I feel like he feels like he was forced to make some type of decision. We got the Empress and the Seven of Wands. I feel like he I feel like this. He didn't want to go back and forth and put you in the middle of the situation with only having to offer a page. I see that, but I also see as well, too, like this masculine could have felt like he was forced to kind of make this decision. Yep, didn't I say that? Two of Pentacles, forced to make this decision. He could have been forced by a mother, a grandmother, an aunt, a cousin, but just feeling like pushed. And he feels like he should have waited, okay? King of Cups. I feel like this masculine did not tell you, didn't want to tell you how they 
how he felt at first. But the truth is just that this masculine was thinking it was being selfish. Okay, he was thinking about himself. Five of Swords. It backfired. It backfired. Him being selfish ended up backfiring. Him being selfish ended up backfiring on him. I feel like you feel like it's too much drama. I feel like you don't, you, you just feel like it's too much drama. And there's that uncertainty. Okay, look at him regretting this decision. Regretting this decision. He's having regrets. He feels like he should have told the divine feminine everything that was going on. But everybody else that was around him was waiting on him to make some type of move. Okay, so he had to make some move until he feels like he was forced to make some type of move. He felt like he had to make a move and he didn't want to go back and forth. So with the Seven of Swords and the Temperance. I'm hearing not wanting to take, didn't want to take your advice. But you was right when you said how you felt. You've been standing to yourself ever since. This masculine hasn't seen you face to face in a while. Uh, it's like you ran off somewhere and uh, ever since this, this truth came out, it, it just tore the whole connection apart. I feel like... This masculine did not want to take your advice. Didn't want to hear what you had to say. But is it ultimately his plan backfired. It backfired. Because now he's regretting his decision. But I'm hearing didn't feel like going back and forth. This masculine did not want to take, did not want to take advice from you, but you ended up being right. You ended up being right. I'm hearing when he think about it, he's seeing the results. He's seeing the results. Okay, so maybe there's something that you said that was going to happen. He didn't want to listen, but it ended up happening just like how you said it was going to happen. Yep, it backfired. Nine of swords, five of swords. It backfired on him. Him dealing with this karmic backfired on him. He's feeling like he should have gave it some thought. And he's thinking about uh, his past. He's thinking about the past. And how he's going to tell this karmic what's going on. Somebody made him leave. Somebody made him, like, kind of pushed him to make a decision. And he went for it. He didn't, he did not take the right advice. But that's what I got, guys. Y'all, be sure to like the video. Share with your family and your friends as well. And if you're interested in booking a reading, guys, all that information is in the drop box below. So, well, it's in the comment section, okay? So, until next time, ciao.